Hello there everybody, it's me Alexa and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sari Leru Nikebaru movie. So this movie is directed by Anil Ravipudi and it stars Mahesh Babu and Rashmika Mandana. The music was by Taman S. The an overall quick like plot summary of the film is it is about an Indian soldier named AJ who is played by Mahesh Babu who must go to another soldier, who's also named AJ's uh, house, to deliver some sad news to their family. But whenever he gets to the other AJ's house, he realizes that their family is in some a kind of dire situation, so he has to then go and help them, and adventures ensue along the way. Probably my favorite scene in the whole thing is the train scene, which I can see why they used a lot of footage from that in the trailer for it because it truly is just a really fun scene. It's quite long, it's a lot of the first half is on this train, and it's just, I'm really trying to think of another word besides fun. It's really humorous, and like the whole theater was laughing, myself included. It was just really well executed. I wanna say almost the first half's a highlight, but really it's that train scene is the highlight of the film. I think that that, I mean truly, it just was the best part. And the overall plot of the movie is just really nice and sweet, and it just kind of puts a smile on your face. There's a few things that I'm not a huge fan of that we'll discuss as we continue this review, but overall I really did like the story and I thought it was nice and fun. Whenever it comes to the actual acting in the film, uh, Mahesh Babu kind of started off a little bit stiff. He really felt like someone pretending to play a soldier, which is not the best, but during that train scene that comes pretty early on, he really does begin to become more comfortable with the character. You can kind of see him connecting with it more, and that carries out throughout the rest of the film, so he really does end up doing a really great job. Just those first couple moments, he's a little stiff, which it may be due to the fact that he's even said himself this is his first time doing a, like, Moss Entertainment film in a while. He's been recently doing a lot of, like, script-oriented films where the characters are a bit more uptight, so he's had to like kind of get back into playing a more moss character. And then Rashmika absolutely nails her character. She does a great job with it, but she's super underused, especially in the second half. So she's introduced in the train scene and it's just super fun. She builds her up and she's a really like unique character with very distinct personality traits and it's like they start building her up so much and then the intermission happens and then Where's Rashmika? <laughs> they kind of like stop using her. Alright, I might go into some mild spoilers right here as I talk about why I'm so annoyed at Rashmika's lack of uh, appearance in the second half. So I'll put a little spoiler thing. If you don't want spoilers, skip on ahead and I'll write a little timestamp of when the spoilers stop. So Rashmika's character, she, on the second half, she kind of just disappears and then she comes back for one song about their romance, which makes no sense. And then she disappears again, and then she comes back at the very end, which is when, all right, this is the big spoiler, they get together. Um, and normally in films, whenever there's the conflict of one character liking someone and the other one not liking them back, there's this nice buildup where slowly the one who doesn't like the other person begins to like the other one more. But this one, they just completely skipped that. They just had this one song where, oh, they're now deeply in love, and then skip ahead, and she, and one of them, ask the other one to marry them again, and they're like, yep, let's get married. Sure. And I'm like, why? <laughs> you did nothing to earn that. You did nothing to redeem yourself from how you behaved earlier. Like, there's just, I don't understand why they would end up getting together based on what is told in this movie. End of the mild spoilers, and let's continue on. This movie is really long. It's two hours and 51 minutes, so they do fit a lot into there. It starts off maybe a tad bit slow. I don't know. I still think it was pretty good, though. And then it's really just, like, continuous stuff happening until the end, which is really impressive with that two hour 51 minutes, but they should have somehow tried to incorporate Rashmika's character into that main plot of the film, of the whole film, and specifically the second half, because it really made her feel just completely unimportant and I didn't care enough about her character. They built her up great in this train scene, so I did care about her a bit from the train scene, but then they just like abandoned her, and I was like, why should I care that she's back now? Because I oh, haven't seen her in like an hour. I really do wish that they somehow intertwined the plot of her, her plot and the main plot of the film, and I think that would have been a lot more effective and 
just a more well-rounded story overall if they had found a way to do that. Let's continue on to a little bit more about the writing. As I've been saying all throughout, it is a really funny film. Like, there's lots of laughs. The whole theater was laughing, and I even laughed quite a few times. One thing I all wasn't a huge fan of with the writing was there's a lot of lines. There's really one in particular that is repeated, I believe, three times in it. And three is a good number. I will say I'm glad they didn't do it any more than that. If they did more than that, I would really have an issue. But so because it was only three times, I'm not actually upset about it, but I personally felt like that first time it was delivered, it was so impactful and well done. It's a line that Mahesh says, and it's just really well delivered. And then they said it, the, every time they said it again, it felt as if it lost some of that importance. And I think the intention and what some others may have taken from it was that it became more impactful with each time it was said in that, in which I can see an argument for that. I agree, um, just personally, I felt like it lost some of that importance when it was repeated. I guess that's just a personal preference, so maybe you'll love that it was said multiple times. I don't know, but for me personally, wasn't a huge fan. Whenever it comes to the fight choreography, it was really over the top and awesome, but it fit the story perfectly. Like, it was just, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I mean, Mahesh did a great job beating these people up and <laughs> saving the day. Yeah, I mean, it was just well done and it was pretty well edited. I really don't have any complaints with the fight, for, fight choreography. I thought it was very over the top, but that fit the style of the movie and therefore I liked it. So now the songs. As you may know if you watched my Dang Dang reaction or my reaction to the trailer, I wasn't a huge fan of the songs. I liked the theme song a lot, like the Sorry They Do Nike Baru song, but I wasn't a fan of Dang Dang or He's So Cute. Dang Dang, I was a little disappointed by the actual performances in it because from the promo, I thought that there was gonna be a lot more of Kamina dancing because I do know that Mahesh, I mean, he did a great job dancing, I will not, like, they both did a really good job, but Mahesh isn't the best dancer because of his back problems. So I was hoping that they would utilize Tamina, who they brought in for just this one song, and she's a phenomenal dancer, so I kept waiting for her to have, like, a breakaway moment where she did some really great dancing, but then she just didn't, and it, like, it stayed, it was fun, but it became even more repetitive because there wasn't any of that, and I already felt like it was gonna be repetitive with the lyrics, which, I was right on <laughs> but I mean it was a fun party song again as I said in my reaction to it I won't go too much more into it past that and then he's so cute this movie made me like it I have had it stuck in my head a bit since watching it and I do kind of like the song now it fit really well into the story and it was a very cute moment. I, yeah, the, the movie made me like that song. I did not like the mind block song um, it felt on undeserved the message like what was happening in it felt like it was undeserved because there's nothing building to that it just like was kind of thrown in and i was like um okay what's happening here since when do they feel this way and i know it was supposed to kind of be in one character's head but still just wasn't i was just like it felt out because of the fact that that character wasn't used enough in the second part it felt a little like What's going on? Why is this here? It just didn't seem like it fit. I have to mention though, the background music, phenomenal. Every single fight scene fit perfectly. The hero's theme and the villain's theme, amazing. Great job to DSP whenever it comes to that. It was like all the background music, but specifically those themes of the hero and villain were just phenomenal. They really, they just like made you feel the presence of them as they entered and that is always a great feat whenever it comes to a theme for a character because it's supposed to kind of encapsulate that character in a musical cue and DSP did a phenomenal job with that. Let's talk a little bit about editing. Overall, the editing was really well done. It felt very well paced. Uh, for being a two hour, 51 minute long movie, it did not feel too long. And overall, the CGI was really well done as well. There's a lot that you didn't even notice that happened in the background and like to build the environment. It was just really well done and seamless. There was only two times I noticed the CGI at all. Those two times were not good though. <laughs> Whenever you did notice it, it was not great. But whenever there's things flying in the foreground, you'll see it. So those were a little obvious, but overarchingly I did not notice the CGI and that means they did a good job. So 
well done to the whole editing team with that. One thing I also feel like I need to talk about this film is there were multiple times throughout it that I felt like I was watching an ad for joining the army. So that's not a bad thing because we really do need someone fighting for our country. I mean, or else we wouldn't be safe. Like truly they're there fighting for their people. In India, there's constantly that fight at the border and so there's so many people risking their lives every day to keep people safe and this movie i think does a really good job of showing that to people who may not understand that fully it just really brings that to light the risk that these people are putting themselves in in order to save the lives of others and it's truly admirable so overall this movie can and will do a really great job in the box office i mean already it's opening day it made i think almost 40 crores it said so I'm sure by now it's made way even more than that. It's definitely gonna make some nice profit there. I mean, it's a really fun, just mass entertainment movie. That was really well done, fun story, good acting, fun songs. And as I said before, like, it never feels slow, despite it being two hours, 51 minutes. Like, there's not, there's not anything I can think of to cut out of it. That's very impressive whenever you have a nearly three hour long film, so just really good job. If you're looking for like a few good laughs and a really nice story and maybe a few smiles on your face then I definitely recommend going to see this movie. It was really just a good time. It was a good story, good acting. I would definitely recommend going to see the movie if you want a fun mass entertainment film. Alright so I think that's all I really have to say about Sari Leru Nikevaru. So please leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what my opinions you agreed with maybe, disagreed with, I will ask you please be respectful with it. I promise to respond to any of your opinions and thoughts with respect, so I ask you to please give me that same courtesy. And yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye!